Hello fellow Linux gamers, Keith here, and today I'm reviewing Dropsy. So just what the hell is Dropsy, you ask? Dropsy is a point-and-click adventure game, or at least I think that's what it is. You do point and you do click on things, but after playing through the game, I can't figure out what the hell I've been playing. Looking back at Dropsy, the whole experience is like a fever dream to me. So how would I explain Dropsy? I don't know, the game is just so weird and unique, I absolutely love it. I don't know if I could really explain this game well, but here goes nothing. After the opening cutscene, we find the main protagonist, Dropsy the Clown, in a hellish dream. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, less than a minute in and shit's already getting cray-cray, that's a good sign. So after the protagonist awakens from his hellish nightmare, we can see we're in a slightly less creepy environment, Dropsy's home. From here on out, you can mouse over the top bar and select actions to perform. We can switch from controlling Dropsy to a different character, such as Dropsy's pet dog. We can press the hug icon and click on a target to receive Dropsy's unconditional love. Click on the suspenders icon for an inventory. Check the map. And lastly, open the settings. From the settings menu, you can set the game to run in windowed or full screen mode, save, disable music, and check the option for squeaky shoes. Now this is a video game. Once you're done screwing around with the settings, it's time to explore. From Dropsy's home, you can watch TV, raid the refrigerator, attempt to dial numbers, use the toilet, examine miscellaneous objects, and that's about all there is to do here, so let's blow this popsicle stand. Once outside, you encounter your first obstacle, this bird, creature, thing, which will not let you pass until you give it some snacks. After giving the bird some snacks you had lying around in your fridge, you walk to the right to find yourself outside your house, a tent. Walking to the right, you find yourself in some woods, and you keep walking until you see a squirrel. And you better bet as soon as I saw that squirrely bastard, I immediately gave him a hug. I guess you can say this is a side objective of the game, to hug people, animals, and even inanimate objects in the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> but of course, not everybody wants a hug from a totally not serial killer looking clown. For some, you have to complete objectives, which usually revolve around you getting something from there and bringing it back here, using an item here to get a thing for there, really just basic point and click puzzles. Further into the game, you have to solve more complex puzzles, some requiring help from your furry friends in order to advance. All this work for the sweet payoff of finally being accepted and hugging someone. Mmm, -hmm. yeah, feel that. That's the pure feeling of happiness right there. Clicking on things is when you notice that there is no text dialogue in this game. Everything is communicated to the player via pictures and icons. I find this to be both a negative and a positive. You don't have to read through a dump of text just to learn what item to acquire next, but sometimes the lack of descriptive dialogue can make figuring out which items go where a little confusing. Walking around, you'll start to notice the game has a day and night cycle. The time of day affecting what areas are accessible and which people are in certain areas. You can sleep in designated areas to skip to a certain time of day. Speaking of walking around, you'll be doing a lot of that. The world of Dropsy is surprisingly large, with many areas to explore and many strange characters to meet along the way. Later in the game, you're given a vehicle, allowing you to fast travel around the city. While exploring, you're given the chance to listen to the soundtrack performed by Chris Schlarb. The soundtrack is wonderful and in my opinion really fits in with the game's theme. In conclusion, would I recommend Dropsy? Sure. If you're a fan of point and click adventure games and you're looking for something a little different, then Dropsy may be perfect for you. Dropsy does suffer from the typical point-and-click adventure game problem of not really giving the player uh, clear instructions on what you're supposed to do, 
and I often found myself trying to use uh, items on random things, hoping I would be lucky enough to find a thing that goes into the thing and gives me another thing. I played through Dropsy on an Arch Linux system with a NVIDIA GTX 970 graphics card using the proprietary drivers and experienced no technical issues of any kind. You can purchase Dropsy directly from the game's official website, where you're given a plethora of digital game distributions to purchase the game from. Itch.io, Steam, GOG.com, and also from the Humble Bundle store. Thanks for watching this review, this has been Keith here, and until next time, happy hugging!